children welcome to the smart world a school of complete learning today we will read about chapter 11 which is contour maps and landforms in standard 5th you have gathered some information about how height and relief are shown on a map now carry out the following activity on the same topic under the guidance of your teacher or in your parents okay so Take a large oblate shaped potato and the requirements as shown above. The requirements are a sheet of paper, a long scale, a pen, knife and potato. Observe how a potato appears when seen from the front and when seen from the above. Like in this. And draw an outline of the potato in your notebook. Now cut the potato into two parts so that each part has a flat base. Rest the cut half on its flat base and the and measure its height in millimeters. This is our potato hill. The tapering side of the potato is the hill top. Now draw two circles on each going round the hill, one near the top and the other close to the base. Keep sufficient distance between the circles. The circle near the top will be smaller. Now the teacher or the parent will slice the potato on these circles. Do not separate the slices. Insert a toothpick or a piece of pointed stick through the slices vertically. Without removing the toothpick, place the sliced potato on a piece of paper, moving a pencil along the edge of the slowest of the lowest slice draw its outline. It will be nearly circular in shape. After drawing the outline, pull the toothpick, toothpick upwards, remove the lowest slice delicately and keep it aside. Repeat the same procedure for the other two slices. Observe the figure that is formed after the exercise is complete. You will note that you have drawn these concentric circles. Write the height of the potato that you had measured earlier in the center of the innermost circle. Measure the thickness of all the slices you have kept aside. Give value 0 to the outermost circles. How will you give the values to other lines? Think about it. Do you think that the thickness of the each slice that you have measured can help you? After assigning the values to each circle, our sketch of the photo of the potato will potato hill will be complete. Now see this potato hill sketch. The outermost circle is valued 0 mm and the inners are like this. Okay, think about like what we did, what did we achieve in this activity. We have transferred a three dimensional object, the potato, into a two dimensional picture. In reality, it is not possible to make the slices of a mountain or any other landform and place them on paper or on the ground to draw a two dimensional picture of that platform. For this mathematically and survey methods are applied. You will learn about these methods if you study geography as a special subject at a later stage. A model of the relief in an area is shown in figure 11.1a given above. See the figure 11.1a which is showing you a model of the earth surface observe it carefully and answer all the questions question one is which landforms do you observe in the model which colors have been used on them observe the map in figure 11.1b and answer the following now see this is the figure 11.b Though this is not very clear, but still you can have a look and try to understand this. Okay, so the questions are, what all do you see in the map? What is the general direction of the ranges shown in the map? Towards which direction is the flat land located in the map? And what are the maximum and minimum values of the lines in the map? Next question is what do these values indicate and do you find any similarities in the map and the model 
in figure 11.1a what are those which figure gives us more information about and what is that information or is there any similarity between this map and the check and the sketch map of the photo potato hill coming to geographical explanation while studying different landforms on the surface of earth one has to take into consideration various facets of landforms like altitude relief slope direction of slope and the drainage for this maps pre prepared using particular methods are used these are known as contour maps these maps help us to understand the above characteristics of the landforms these maps are of immense use to mountaineers trackers soldiers defense officers etc these maps prove to be of great use in the planning for a region too use your brain power to answer that when one sees a landform on a contour map what is the observer's position with respect to the landform for an example a hill is shown with the help of contours on a map from where do you think you are looking at it see there are two models 11.3a which is a model of the karhas river basin in saswad and 11.3b is a map of karha river basin saswad right so a 3d model is given in figure 11.3a the northern part of the model shows the basin of the rivers mula mutha to its south is the katraj divighat range extended from the west to the east beyond that some part portion of karha basin is seen observe the model and the map given below it and ask the following questions in which direction does fort purandar lie what is the direction of river flowing no what is the direction of flow of the river karha in which parts are the hill ranges not observed which part of the map is not seen in the model and why in which direction does the altitude of katraj divighat range decreases in which direction are higher hill ranges located while finding answers to these questions you will become familiar with the contour lines and you will be able to identify major landforms shown by contour lines find the altitude of a place above main sea level in meters you have to draw contour lines from main sea level to your place the interval of the contour should not be more than 50 meter and determine how many lines you will draw for this friends consider you have gone for mountaineering you have to conquer a peak on the hill a a map of this hill is given in figure 11.4 the map is this studying the contour lines in the map find the site from which you will reach the peak safely and easily mark your path on the map with a pencil so here is a map always remember that contour lines join places with the same altitude on a map therefore generally they do not cross each other coming to the exercise the question 1 is to answer the questions first part is how can the distribution of the height and land forms in a region be shown second is to whom are the contour maps useful third what do you understand by observing contour lines and the last is how will a contour map be useful for a for a farmer question 2 is fill in the blanks with appropriate words first if the contour lines are closer to each other the slope is question 2 the contour lines on the map represent dash question 3 the slope can be understood from the distance between the blank part 4 and the last is if the distance between two contour lines is more the dash is gentle so this comes to the end of your chapter go through the video the concepts and the terms given and complete the exercise thank you